Hello YouTubers and today we're going to have a little talk and uh, about atheist apparel, atheist t-shirts etc and why should we have them? Um, I I've had a few thoughts on it and, but f and we'll go on about that but first let's have a look at a few of my sort of shirts and things that I generally tend to wear uh, hence the fashion parade. This of course is the uh, the famous bus slogan that was once put on. A lot of people say why put probably on it? There's probably no God. Um, but of course that was a brilliant idea because it got people talking about it. Even comedians started picking it up and thinking they were clever by going, oh, these atheists, they can't even decide. And they thought that was quite funny, but the great, what they didn't realise is they were promoting it for us as well, or just promoting the slogan. Anyway, let's have a quick look at, um, at some, a few different types of shirts I've got. I haven't got them all here, but uh, I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So. Q music. Haven't actually thought of any yet, but Q music. Okay, these sort of shirts are really just my work shirts, but as I had them specially made, as it were, as I had them specially made, I'm, I'm not up there, but I've got the camera pointing down to see the shirt more. Oh. Um, as you probably see, if I got a bit closer, um, the camera's on a tripod, I can't reach out that far, so I'll bring it in, and um, as you see, you can just embroider the, these are great for work, um, so I wear these at work. I've got a sort of set of these in different colours and different designs and you can actually get these from itailor.com you can design your own and put your own little bit of embroidery on although there's only a few letters you can use so just atheist anyway that's the fashion show I've got others but hey um, I'll save them for other videos <laughs> well I'm outside anyway now and um, in the smoking room yes. shouldn't really should have given up but you know a uh, cup of tea, and um, I was given the opportunity to do this thing about atheist apparel. And people often say to me, Why do you wear all this stuff? and isn't that a bit antagonizing? Um, no, it's not antagonizing, it's raising the awareness that atheists exist out on the street. You know, Christians are out there, they're all wearing these sort of. Um, crosses, some of them look like they've been fighting vampires that night. Um, in fact, just, late, just this week I said to a lady, oh, any vampires out there when she came with a huge cross on? And she laughed, luckily. And, um, but, and, and you can spot, let's face it, you can spot, spot those of Islam or uh, and Sikhs a mile off, you know. So, understandably, you can't tell which denomination of, say, Christian or which type of Muslim, but um, it's fairly easy to spot, isn't it? And these people are making, if nothing else, um, they're making a statement in what they wear. And I do feel that something, even if it's just a little badge, is a way of starting conversation with people who want to start conversation with you. It's not antagonizing, it's raising awareness, and as I said, if somebody wants to talk to you about it, they will. If they don't, they'll either ignore you or they will shun you. Um, which is, can be as much fun. <laughs> ah, that's my first thought, but bear with me. So why am I bringing this up? Well, as you know, recently we had a local meeting with a few of us. Um, a few of us atheists uh, trying to start a local humanist group, which it's got off to a slow start. There was only about nine people there, I think. But, nonetheless, a start, and we've started up a Facebook group, 
whatever that is. Now, I'm not really a Facebook fan. When it first came out, I went on Facebook and um, sort of put my name on, uh, and I was on there for a year or so or two, and, and nothing happened. And I couldn't really see the point of it, to be honest. What did happen is people actually got in touch with me for old school friends and things like that, so I quickly took myself off. <laughs> No, seriously. Um, but I have recently gone back on it, really, because of this group. Um, it seems to have changed quite a bit. There's a lot more going on now. Um, which is interesting, because I didn't know a lot about what was going on on Facebook. And the people who obviously were doing a lot of Facebooking didn't know really much about what was going on on YouTube. And bringing the two together um, is, is a very good idea. There seems to be a huge movement on both. Anyway... Um, no, what was my original point? <laughs> Hang on, I'll get back to it. Yes, my original point was that people have been saying to me, um, we want to be atheists, but we don't want to antagonise, say, Christians or religious people. We don't want to antagonise them. Um, but we are atheists, and they feel by wearing things like apparel, by wearing, um, by just saying to people, God does not exist, is antagonising. Um, which I disagree with. I don't think it is. I think you you have to bring it out into the open. I find it just as antagonising from their point of view to assume that there is and to try and force it on you. And if you understand the way things work, not just, I mean, in the way of the planet, but in the way that religion works properly, its arguments and how its arguments are fundamentally flawed, you can argue the point and you cannot lose. You can't lose because you're right. That is not arrogance. Arrogance is not arrogance when you're right. And uh, even though when I say those words, it makes me cringe by feeling a little bit arrogant. But we know natural selection is right. We, we know that the Bible is wrong. Um, and indeed other religious works. And this is what we have to promote. You cannot oppose a religious position without being antagonistic. Even being the nicest person in the world and saying the nicest things, they will still find it as an affront upon their belief system. You will be thought upon as a heathen, an infidel. These things apparently are bad things to be. Um, doesn't bother me, but to them, a heathen, infidel, whatever else you want to come up with, sinner of course and, and sin is subjective to their religion and yet you cannot just you can be nice obviously you can be nice but you cannot take an opposing position without being called a godless sinner and a godless sinner uh, I think most of us even though we're, we're atheists will know what that means it's somebody they do not like, and it's insulting. Anyway, thoughts for the day, as it were. Um, I hope to keep up making more videos as I get time, um, and I hope to get more and more time as time goes on. So I am freeing up that time. Just wait, and I'll get there. Peace for now. I'll speak to you soon.